Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody, or X Code A. How's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from inside or outside of the United States. Today's video, I got something special for you. I took a ride with my grandpa over to my Uncle Brian's Riverside Reptile Education Center. It's such a cool place. They have over 50 species of reptiles and amphibians. And I got some really cool footage of me holding an alligator. I won't talk too much. Hope you enjoy. There you go. <laughs> this is an alligator, huh? Yes. How old is this guy? Uh, so this is Spike. Spike is uh, almost two years old. He's an American alligator. We really don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, a little too small as hell. Um, but American alligators get very big. In fact, the largest one ever recorded was uh, 15 feet and over a thousand pounds. So our alligators, we have Spike here, which is one of our educational animals. We bring them out a lot for people to interact with. And then we have a larger alligator named Brenda. Uh, and Brenda's a 36-year-old female. She's eight feet long and about 180 pounds. Uh, if you come here on the weekends at one o'clock, we do uh, feeding demonstrations with her. Um, sometimes um, she doesn't behave as well, which makes uh, the feeding demonstration a lot more entertaining when she's trying to kill me. Um, <laughs> Come check her out uh, one o'clock on the weekends and uh, watch her eat some. Uh, sometimes we feed her venison, fish. A lot of times we just give her uh, dead rats, which is everyone's favorite, of course. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. <laughs> All right, here's X Code A feeding <laughs> some giant tortoises. Uh, there's two species in here. Just watch your thumbs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is Leo. Leo's an Aldabra tortoise. They're the second largest species of tortoise in the world. Yep, just keep it nice and still. You get up to 500 pounds. And this is Tank. Tank is an African spurred tortoise, also known as a Sulcata tortoise. They can get uh, close to 200 pounds. They're the third largest species of tortoise. And yeah, you go up, up higher, you can see how, how long uh, Leo's neck is. So these guys are 100% herbivorous. Uh, they eat mostly grasses and uh, other vegetation. We feed them a lot of uh, dandelion greens here, but they have an outdoor tortoise pasture, which they go in uh, when it's warmer, a little chilly out today. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, this is a juicy apple. Uh, so we don't give them a lot of fruit because a lot of fruit's not too good for them, but we do give them treats on occasion. As you can see, they love, they love apples. They love anything that's red or orange or yellow. So a lot of times, you're lucky you're wearing blue sneakers today because oh. I've had kids come in here to feed the tortoises and they're wearing like their bright red sneakers and the tortoises will just chase them around and try to eat their feet. <laughs> yeah, these guys, their color vision is a lot better than ours. Look like dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these guys, the turtles started evolving over 200 million years ago. Wow. So turtles, their ancestors were around before your popular dinosaurs like T-Rex, which started evolving around 100 million years ago. Just take a bite, buddy. You're standing on my feet. <laughs> Look at this guy. All right, this is a snake that, how, how old was I? It was like three or four years Yeah, ago. I mean, this snake comes with a, an interesting story. It's one of the oldest animals uh, that I have. I, it was actually a rescue in, I think it was 1999. Uh, my mom actually rescued him from a former student who used to be a teacher. Um, and you couldn't take care of the snake anymore, so I acquired him. And uh, when I first got him and moved him into my house, you used to always visit um, with your sister. And I was trying to think of a good name for the snake. And uh, I horrible at naming things. So you, I think, yeah, I think you were like four or five at the time. You're just like, let's name him Percy the Python. I'm like, all right, that sounds good to me. I wish I remembered. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that he's been going by Percy in his, uh, since then. And now he's, uh, we estimate his age to be close to 30 years old. And that's pretty old for a, a Burmese Python. He typically lived for about 30 uh, to 35 years. You can see his eyes are getting a little cloudy. He's got some cataracts building up, but he's still a pretty healthy guy. Uh, right now, he's about 12 feet long. And in his prime, he's, lo he's losing a little bit of muscle tone right now, but in his prime, he weighed about 80 to 90 pounds. Right now, he's probably around 67, 70 pounds. I mean, he's losing a lot of muscle tone, just like me in my old age. 
Um, but uh, he's still pretty healthy. He eats about five or six rats once a month. Uh, and he's a super friendly guy. He's a great ambassador for his species. And we use him a lot, a lot for our educational programs as well. Uh, you can meet Percy and you can see a lot of other cool animals here at Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Uh, we're located at 132 South Road in Enfield, Connecticut. Uh, we're on social media. We have a YouTube channel. Check it out, Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Uh, you'll see lots of cool videos of all the animals we have here. Uh, we're on Facebook, TikTok, so uh, if you're not in the area, if you don't live nearby Connecticut, you can just check us out uh, through the web. Definitely do that. I really enjoy it here. Ryan's a good guy. This is an awesome place. Really cool animals to come and see. I hope you enjoyed that little mini story and vlog about the Percy the Python. It's pretty cool when I was four or five, I ended up naming that uh, Percy the Python snake. Uh, I don't remember that at all, but it's pretty cool. I learned that that day when I went there. Now, you guys know I don't do sponsored stuff that much, but, all right, if there's ever a time for me to call to action you, all right, you, not, not him, but you, I would really appreciate it if you would check the link in the description to find out more information about Riverside Reptile Education Center. It's located in Enfield, Connecticut, so if you're a New England resident, Connecticut, Massachusetts, any of those states, come on down. And I'm quite aware not everybody watching this video lives around me, but if you would still like to support my uncle's business, you can check out the social media accounts in the description. Give him a follow, all right? Give him a like. And if you want to go the extra mile, all right, the extra mile, there's even a sponsorship page where you can uh, donate some money for category of, of the species. Like for instance, I did the lizard sponsorship four for 500 bucks. There's nothing more than I want to see than this business succeed because I've been watching Brian build up his rep reptile collection over the years. Ever since I was a kid, his basement was full. Scorpions, tarantulas, tree frogs, blue tongue spinks, the whole shebang. And this was like his ultimate dream to be able to open up a place like this. So I want to do everything I can to try to help him out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and little, uh mini story action me holding an alligator feeding a tortoise leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed and thank you to each and every one of you guys that goes and checks the link in the description have a snazzy day